there are worms, and then there's this. It has a uniquely shaped head. You really can't miss it. A hammerhead flatworm. They get about a foot long. They're from Southeast Asia, and they're here. Much like how it got to the United States, the way that it spread through Texas is through the greenhouse industry, landscaping, nurseries. Ashley Morgan Oliveira directs research at the Texas Invasive Species Institute in Huntsville. I've had about 25 phone calls and I've received over 100 emails. This Facebook post showing a worm found in Dallas was shared more than 40,000 times in two days. While the post incorrectly states it's the first in the area, she says the rest of the info is true. It eats earthworms, which are necessary for our forests, our crops, our gardens. And when they eat earthworms, they let out a toxin that can irritate your skin or make your pets sick. They can also spread parasites. Now, if you find these things, put some gloves on, maybe use a stick and put it in a bag with salt and or vinegar. And you're going to want to go ahead and put it in your freezer overnight. What you don't want to do is just put it in the trash can or worse, cut it up into little pieces. It will regenerate. So if you chop it into two pieces, you've just made two worms, etc, etc. So oh my gosh, that's like yeah. a horror movie. What? <laughs> oh. Crazy, right? Well, they hang out down in soil, so all that rain we've had brings them out. They've gotten flushed out of their burrows, used that as an advantage to go ahead and get rid of them. The Institute's received about 250 reports of these from North Texas in the past three years, even before the viral post. It's definitely a lot more widespread than we thought it was. In Dallas, <laughs> I'm Morgan Young.